Hey everybody, Scott Spots here, DocSports.com, and welcome to our NASCAR update. We've got a free pick and a matchup for you coming up on this report. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on my daily packages over at DocSports.com. And if you jumped on board yesterday, all sports, we go 7 and 2, and we picked up over 22 units. If you were betting just $100 per unit, you made over $2,200 yesterday alone. Just a great day. College basketball, NBA. We won the game of the month in the NBA with the Suns. Uh, we had Tyson Fury last night, uh, part of a 2-0 fight card. So just right down the line, nice day, 7-2. and two. Let's rack it up. Let's do it again. I got college basketball, five-star, that'll be posted on Sunday. That'll be available at 1130 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I've got NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern, NHL also at 1 p.m. Eastern. We cashed back-to-back -back $1.50 underdogs on the ice, Rangers on Friday, and then last night, Arizona clocks Tampa Bay 7-3. Nice $1.50 underdog for us there. NASCAR is available right now. Go check it out, DocSports.com. We'll enter Sunday on runs of 15-4 and 22-7. And and uh, we won last week with our matchup at Daytona 500. That was Denny Hamlin. We had it, a matchup winner, and we're now up over 65 hundred dollars for those wagering just one hundred dollars per unit in nascar thought we'd do a free nascar video here and give you a free pick on this report that's what we're going to do first of all as you all know by now or maybe you don't if you're new to nascar betting you don't have to like a sport if you're winning at it to like making money right so those of you who are into nascar obviously you know that drivers and teams fit certain tracks like team penske has dominated uh, las vegas motor speedway which is where they are this week on sunday and uh, so you might want to shy away from playing against Team Penske drivers uh, when they're in Las Vegas. There are certain drivers who have done well on this track. I'll tell you one who has not. Kyle Busch, hometown track. He's only won here once. That was, what, 11 years ago? He's just not been able to fare well at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, his home track. And here's the thing. He was having some handling issues on Friday, and now he's going to start at the back of the pack. 38 cars. He's starting 38th, even though he would be sitting on the pole because of the qualifying situation uh, being rained out. He would be sitting on the pole. He'll get uh, credit for that but again he's going to be starting 38th uh, because of some suspend uh, excuse me some violations and that'll send him to the back of the pack so a couple of guys a team and team Penske that you don't want to play against you might not want to play on Kyle Busch this week and Jimmy Johnson's going to be a sentimental favorite he's done well here throughout his career in Las Vegas but uh, boy we just don't see him doing much in most races for, uh, throughout the course of this season this being one of them so hey, if you can find a good price maybe play against Jimmy Johnson a couple of times here's the thing this is a one and a half mile track. It's relatively flat, although they changed the shape of the track and the banking, the degrees of the banking a few years ago. Uh, but this is nothing like the handicap of the Daytona 500. So throw out those notes and look and see what certain teams, what certain drivers have done on this mile and a half oval over the last few years. And you'll see, for instance, Martin Truex has a couple of wins on this track at NASCAR's top circuit over the last several years. He's been one of four drivers who have won this over the last eight years and we like him in his matchup over Denny Hamlin this week now I've got about 20 sports books on my screen in front of me uh, I see a few dollar 25s out there Martin Truex Jr. Uh, being the favorite in the matchup over Denny Hamlin uh, but there are some 145s and I think it'll tend to go up a little bit because Denny Hamlin like Kyle Busch is being punished and he's going to be starting at the back of the pack also and it's really tough on this track by the way to get from last to first in any kind of hurry it's not a track where you see a lot of uh, big odds drivers, let's say, uh, winning this race. So in this particular instance, I think we've got Martin Truex Jr. who's going to be in the better car. Denny Hamlin off the intense win last week. And listen, it could be a case now that he's already qualified for the playoffs by winning last week. It's going to be a situation where he might tinker a little bit. I know he did win at a couple mile and a half tracks last year, uh, but again, he has not won here in Vegas and being relegated to you know the same spot as Kyle Busch basically where he's starting this race. I think he's going to have a rough time uh, getting past Martin Truex Jr. by the time we get to the checkered flag. So head-to-head -head matchup, we're going to back Martin Truex Jr. Going to recommend him over Denny Hamlin on Sunday. Don't forget about our NASCAR matchup. It's available right now, DocSports.com. We'll look to extend our NASCAR matchup runs to 16-4 and four with our last 20, 23-7 and seven with our last 30. I'm Scott Spratch at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Be right back here on Monday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Go check out my college basketball video, by the way, for Sunday. We'll talk to you on Monday.